In this section, we want to continue our conversions, but this time we're going to convert between units in the U.S. system and units in the metric system, and between units in the metric system and units in the U.S. system. The more common conversions between the two systems I've written over here. For length, we have one inch is the same as 2.54 centimeters. For uh, volume, we have one gallon is the same as 3.79 liters. And then also for weight, one ounce is the same as 28.3 grams. So here's just three conversions between the U.S. and the metric system. Now we're also going to do a little bit with temperature, and you've seen this formula before, F equals 9 fifths C plus 32. We've used that formula before when we did the section on formulas. But um, let's go to the board now and see if we can't take these basic conversion factors and do some converting between the two systems. Here's our first example. We want to convert four meters into feet. So I'm going to start with meters, and I want to end up with feet. And let's see, as far as my conversions go, this is what I know. One inch, that's a one, by the way. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So I need to go between, I know how to go between inches and centimeters, and I'm going to start with meters. So I'm going to start with four meters, and then I want to multiply by something that's going to allow meters to divide out and maybe give me centimeters. That way I can go from meters to centimeters, then I'll go from centimeters to inches, then I'll go from inches to feet. So let's see, there's 100 centimeters in every one meter. So that will take care of my meters. Now, let's convert between the two systems. I'll get centimeters to divide out, and I'll be left with inches if I have 1 and 2.54. Now the centimeters have divided out. I keep an eye on what I'm trying to go towards, which is feet. So I'm going to multiply by something that will allow inches to divide out and leave me with feet. And that will be 12 inches in one foot. So those will divide out. So I end up then with 4 times 100 in the numerator times 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 2.54 times 12. 2.54 times 12. And everything has divided out except for feet. Now, if I do this arithmetic right here, 4 times 100 plus 2.54 times 12, let's see, I've already done that, to the nearest hundredth, that comes out 13.12 feet. So, you see, if I have just this one conversion factor that goes between inches and centimeters, that will allow me to convert any units of length. Even if I don't start with centimeters, in this case, for instance, I started with meters, I can go from meters to centimeters then go between the two systems from centimeters into inches. I end up with inches, and from inches I can go to anything, any unit of length in the U.S. system. In this case, I want to feet by multiplying by this conversion factor. So here's the one that goes between the two systems, and then I had to put a, another couple of them in that I know from the previous work in this chapter to get me to go from meters all the way to feet. Let's look at another problem. This time I want to go from 2 liters to quarts. So I want to convert 2 liters into quarts, and this is the conversion factor I have. 1 gallon is equal to 3.79 liters. So 1 gallon is 3.79 liters. I want to go from liters to quarts. So I'm going to start here with 2 liters. I'm going to multiply by a conversion factor that will allow liters to divide out, and I'll go directly to gallons. So I'll get my conversion between the two systems right away. 1 and 3.79 in order that this is the number 1. My liters divide out. I'm left with gallons. I keep an eye on what I'm going towards, which is quarts. So I want to multiply by a conversion factor that will allow gallons to divide out and leave me with quarts. Well, I know that there's 4 quarts in every 1 gallon. So those divide out. And now I'm left with 2 times 1 times 4, which is 8, divided by 3.79. And my units are quarts. Now, I've done that arithmetic, and let's see, that comes out to be 2.11 to the nearest 100. I'll round to the nearest 100 quarts. So when I do that arithmetic on a calculator, 8 divided by 3.79 comes out 2.11 quarts. So in this case, I start with liters, I want to end up with quarts. Here's the conversion factor I have that goes between the two systems, between gallons and liters. Gallons in the U.S. system, liters in the metric system. 
I start with liters and I go right to gallons. Then once I've got gallons, I want to go to quarts, I multiply by this conversion factor. I end up with 2.11 for the number of quarts in two liters. Let's look at our next problem. We have one pound and we want to convert that to grams. So I want to convert pounds to grams and this is what I know. One ounce is equal to 28.3 grams. So I'm going to start with grams and end up with, no, I'm going to start with pounds and end up with grams. So I start with one pound and then, whoops, one pound. Start with pounds, one pound, and then I want to multiply by a conversion factor that's going to allow pounds to divide out. And see, if I go from pounds to ounces, then I can go from ounces to grams with this relationship right here. So let's go from pounds to ounces. And what I know is that there are 16 ounces in every one pound. So now my pounds have divided out, and I'm left with ounces. From ounces, I want to go to grams. So I'm going to multiply so that ounces divide out. I'll put it in the denominator here because it's in the numerator here, and I want to be left with grams. So 28.3 grams and one ounce so that this is the number one. This tells me there's 28.3 grams in every one ounce. My ounces divide out, and I'm left with 16 times 28.3 grams, and now that comes out to be 452.8 grams. When I round to the nearest tenth. So to the nearest tenth, that's 452.8 grams. So I start with pounds, I go from pounds to ounces, and then from ounces to grams. Now let's take a look at our next problem that involves temperature. We want to convert 20 degrees Celsius into degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I write the formula up here again. Degrees Fahrenheit are always equal to 9 fifths times degrees Celsius plus 32. So I'm simply going to take this 20 and substitute it in here. So this F will be equal to 9 fifths times 20 plus 32. So I divide 5 into 20, it goes 4 times, 4 times 9 is going to be 36 plus 32, and 36 plus 32 comes out to be 68, and now I'll put my units in degrees F. So 20 degrees on the Celsius scale is exactly the same as 68 degrees on the Fahrenheit scale and I simply use this formula. So it's a little different kind of problem. I'm not actually using my conversion factors. I'm really going back to just a formula that I substitute one value in into and then I get out the second value. Uh, in any case, there's a look at converting between the U.S. system and the metric system and a brief look at temperature.